this video I will show you the example of Glide Ajax by populating the assignment group on incident form by selecting the configuration item. We will go to incident form if I click on create new. So this is our incident form. If I select configuration item, as of now it is not populating any assignment group. So it might happen that this configuration item doesn't have any support group. So what we will do, we will go to configuration item. We will go to application servers. And so you can see as of now, this application server has support group as network. So our target is to populate assignment group from this support group. So in order to fulfill this requirement, we have to write a script include and we have to write a client script. So let's create a script include first. So we'll go to script include. Click on create new. And we will write this script include. So our target is set. assignment group and we will press tab so this is the script include we are calling a function here our class is already created and it has to be a, cl a client callable because we have to call this from a client so we will make this client callable and then we will declare a function here that is Populate assignment group function we will do a glide record Not selected it so VB underscore CI GR dot add query. We will put comma here GR dot add query. We will look for sys ID of the CA selected on the form. And we will do this dot get parameter and we will put sys perm underscore cmdb underscore ci. This is what we will do. I will go next line, I will do gr dot query and here because I just need one data so I'm not going to use a while loop I will just use if I will do gr dot next and here I will return the support group because we have to populate support group on assignment group. So we will put support group. That's it. So you can see, so this is our script include name that is set assignment group. And this is our function name that is populate assignment group. I'm going to save this. Now I have to call this script include from our client script. So we will go to incident we will create a client script creating the client script so the name of the client script would be
populate assignment group. And this should be on change because whenever I am changing the configuration item, it has to populate the correspondent support group on assignment group. So that is the requirement. That's an example which we are going to show you. I am putting configuration item here. I can select all as well. And then this is my script. Now I have to declare a variable script include first I'm deleting this now I have to create a glide Ajax object first so that will be my first target so I will put GA new glide Ajax and here I will put the script include name so the same script include which I wrote over there and that was set assignment So this is my script include, and now I will pass the parameters. So it is ga.add param, and first will be sys perm underscore name. Here I will give the function name, the method which I selected over there, which I mentioned in my script include, and that was Populate assignment group. So this was our uh, function name, and then I will put ga dot add param, and this was the another sysperm parameter which we selected over there. C D B underscore C I, and this was G underscore form. So if you remember, we selected the sys ID. Now we have to get the sys ID from the form of the current uh, configuration item which we have selected. And that can only come from G underscore form dot, uh, dot get value. So this is the method. And I have to give the name of the field that is CMDB underscore CI. Now, I have to make a asynchronous call to the server, and I have to put so that is so I have to put a callback function as well. So it is ga dot get xml, and I can give maybe get response. Now I have to process this function. I have to for process this get response function. I have to call it and have to return the data. So what I will do in order to do that, I will write here function get response. I will give a parameter response. I will start my function. I will declare the variable. So basically I have to get the value. What value? I have to get the value which was generated from my script include. I have to get that value with the help of this get XML. So I'm getting this response. Now I have to declare that because I have to return that value. So I'm declaring answer and then response dot response XML dot document element dot get attribute answer and here now I have to set the value so now with this response uh, this particular with this where answer I'm getting this value. So I'm putting that particular value which I have received from our script include. I am putting that value into answer. Now I have received that support group value, but now I have to push it on my assignment group. So what I will do, I will do g underscore form dot set value because I am on client script. So I'm, I have to use uh, client script APIs. So that is set value. First my 
group name uh, field name of assignment group that is assignment group and then I will put answer and this is my variable so here we have received the society for uh, the support group and now we are pushing it on uh, assignment group with the help of set g underscore form set value uh, just take a look i'm just checking my code if everything seems to be good set assignment group there's no error uh, in the spelling as well i'm just uh, putting the parameter uh, populate assignment group this was the function name then the, this parameter which we declared over there i am putting the value g underscore form get value this xml yep i think everything seems to be good i'm clicking on save now we can go to create new incident and if i select this and let's select the same uh, application server because we have okay so as of now you can see it is not coming up and 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 this is a really good situation i, I really like because we have to now debug so what you can do you can go to client scripts here on change configuration item ga new ajax sperm name populate assignment group no error get value this get response this is also good let me think xml get response and what we can do at the same time we can also uh, open that script include maybe yeah so i have opened it in my another tab so first let's check this it is set assignment group we have made it client callable function gr new glide record yes so this is the mistake we did so we didn't do glide record i'm saving it right now now i'm going to create incident again so this was the main mistake we did so let's just put that and if i'm putting it yeah so you can see assignment group is populated now assignment group is populated the reason behind it because we have we have that support group populated in this application server so this is the one example of like my video